Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. If God has been good to you, praise the Lord. Praise him again. Praise him again. I am giving God thanks today. I am not in the hospital with a life machine. I'm God thanks that I'm not hooked up with a machine to keep my kidney going or my heart beat. I am God thanks that I'm alive and in my right mind him to sing, Oh great is our God and how great is his name. Because we're in he rolled that many waters. Waters are coming, he rolled them back. Water I see, he rolled them back. So I am God thanks for who God is. His name is a strong tower. And his people run to it. And they are delivered. So I am giving God thanks for who God is today, this morning. And so I give God the glory. Amen. Greetings to uh, Bishop Campbell. Banji Clark, I do not see him. I do not see Deacon either. But greetings to the right of the ministers, brethren, officer of the church. I say, Precious greetings in Jesus' name. This morning, I give God thanks that I am here. I am here. We are here. God make it possible that we are here. Because we is the sheep of his pastors. He has made us. And we, we don't make ourselves. And he's the sheep of his pastors. And we have come to this court to give him praise for his goodness to all the children of men. And so this morning, brethren, I just give God thanks. I just want to give God thanks. I just want to give God thanks. Glory! Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Thank you, Jesus. I am here, brethren. I am here. Is it the pen of the enemy for me not to be here today? But is the pen of God for me to be here today? Because, brethren, the devil is to distract his people, God's people. And, and shows that God is not able, but God is able. God is able, God is able brethren. Trust in God. Trust in God. Trust in God. Trust in God is able. And so this morning, brethren, we have a lesson before us this morning about murmuring, complaining. Brethren, we can't provide without God. We, brethren, we cannot provide. We can't provide. We can't provide, brethren. The earth is the land of the fullest thereof. God made this world for his pleasure, brethren. Brethren, we can't provide. We can't provide. Our provision comes from God. Everything comes from God, brethren. You know this from creation? Everything you make is made come right down. Even today, is making things possible for us, brethren, that we can go on and on and on. And so, brethren, I am giving God thanks. Brethren, I look at Leviticus, Numbers 11, verse 5. The scripture says, we remember the cucumber, the garlic, the flesh. They say, they, say, they look back, you know. The people look back where they're coming from. This is thing that I don't want to look back to Egypt where I'm coming from. Because the same God who delivered me from the pangs of shoal of hell is the same God today. So if I murmur against him, what will happen? I have ten brothers, one sister. Out of all of us, me the only one, he chose. I should have been grateful. Ten boy, one girl. Are all of them not looking this direction. I'm the only one who can stand and say the only oracle. Only they've gone, still boxing about. But I give God thanks that I am here. And I can tell them about the God of heaven. And today I am giving God thanks. Now we realize that God took out the children of Israel out of Egypt bondage. 
and there was no one stand for them when they did not murmur sin like sons to God. And so they murmur against Aaron, both Moses and Aaron, but it's not them because they are just leading, moved by God's command, and what God said to them, they tell the people. But there was a promise that God swear unto Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, that land. And he's going to carry these people in that land. But then, brethren, understand that people what day is that we God's people. We want to do things our way and not God's way. But God's way is the right way. God prepared his people to build the land for his people. God prepared the Eden to prepare the land for his people. No, God could have run them out one time out of the land and give his people. Little by little, little by little. Brethren, we know how the work system is here today. We are coming and keep it so easy if it gets not work. But brethren, God have a way of setting things for we to see his glory. Amen. Just trust God. Amen. Just trust God. Amen. Now the people, these people go in the land. Yeah. But see, when the mindset of Egypt, peer negative, they come out of your mouth. All the people talk about, which to God that we would say in Egypt, eat that and we eat that and we eat that. Which to God, you know, they mean they swear. They are swearing. Say, better we stay at Egypt and take the whipping and the lashing and eat the food. That's what them say. Yes. But now, go spy the land. Look where you're going to inherit. The people don't go up, go up. They carry the, the, the fruit of the land. Yes. It was bulky. You must carry it up and shoulder. Rich. Because it was rich. But the people might still in Egypt. Two young men who stand out. Yes. But then bridging all the people see what God done in the very high. Yes. All the people. Yes. When they come out of Egypt, they walk on dry ground. Yes. Behind them, God still have fire to destroy the, the, the Egyptian. They've seen it to the very high. They see the dead bodies and the sun. God destroyed them. And the same people say, God is not able to carry us through. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Jesus. Hallelujah. Mm. We see them people murmur against God. But there are two. Special person, Caleb and Joshua. When they see the land and see the fruit and remember the covenant God with them, they're still the people. But then, brethren, the people want to stone them. They want to stone them. Brethren, when we are being encouraged, take it. Just take it. Take the encouragement. Because the scripture says, brethren, Caleb say, if God be with us, we can get the land. Amen. That the message, you know, we can get the land. But the people want to want them because they want their Egypt. Oh, I don't think about the cucumber, the garlic, and the fish. You understand? The most have to have it. The kind of whipping. The whipping. They don't remember the whipping. The cry that reached God's heart that God told Moses down there. They don't remember that, brethren. So we must remember what God done for us, brethren. We must remember that. Remember what God done for us, brethren. I always remember where I'm traveling from. I always. So then I can't talk. I can't talk when I'm traveling from because it's a shame. But God has been good to me. I do not want to murmur against him. Now, when the people hear the negativity of those who carry the evil report, the people in cry. People didn't cry out. But people say all night they cried out and murmur against Moses against Aaron. But brethren, God heard it. God heard the murmuring the brethren. God heard it and God put it against them. God said, okay. 20 years up, now go enter. Not gonna enter. So brethren, I think about that. The younger one are ignorant 
to the fact that they don't know what they're saying. They're ignorant. But see, some of us want knowledge of God's words. And do otherwise, God got to mark you against us. Because we're not ignorant. We have a knowledge of what him say. Thou shall not. God got to mark you against us. So he said that all you 20 years up, you're not going to enter. And God lost them. He lost them in the wilderness. But he said, the young one, they shall enter. And brethren, God not change. God not take off the mockery. God said, we're last in the wilderness. And God, it come to pass, brethren, that the carcasses in the wilderness were there as a, as a witness. And so today, brethren, let us not murmur against God. In the good time, remember who God is. In the bad time, remember who God is. God never changed, brethren. Brethren, when God speaks in a brethren, it, everything happened. And brethren, what happened that we cannot speak and things come into being? We are not God. So we have to wait upon God. We have to wait upon Him, brethren. There's nothing we can but wait. What we can do? We don't know how much our ear number. We don't know that. We do not cause this tree to stay green. We can't do that. But God cause it to green. The lily, God cause it to green and bloom. We cannot do that, brethren. So wait upon the Lord. We cannot survive without God, brethren. These people said, if God can prepare a table in the wilderness, the same people, if, they can, if God can prepare in the wilderness. Brethren, God is able. There's nothing to add for God to do, brethren. Nothing. Sometimes I see God work something in my life. Never just laugh. Because the direction I was looking from, not there coming from. I just laugh. I say, God, you're good. And sometimes I roll back some memory too. When I debate myself and say, nothing is going on. But brethren, something is going on. Because I don't see what's going on, but something is going on. We can't see what's going on, but something is going on. I listen to your testimony, Brother Fridge. Be encouraged. Yes, man. Be encouraged, man. Be encouraged, man. Sometimes there is like a dark cloud where we see a dark cloud, but we don't see the light behind the dark cloud. So see the light behind the dark cloud, Brother Fraser. See the light behind the dark cloud. And so, brethren, let us not be murmur. Murmuring the blessing turn to curse. Because the same people in us in one flesh got to, all right, I go and give you flesh. And when God send on, and he send on, and he send on. So they might eat all, all both that come true. And so the blessing will come. No more against God, brethren. Because God is able. God is a reason for living. Is there a source of survival, brethren? Just let God have his way in our life, brethren. And we see the blessing. Don't murmur against God. When we murmur, guess what happened? Our deliverance will be three hours. God take three hours, deliver us. It takes three months. Four months. Four years. Because we forget who God is. And we do all things. Otherwise, we, you know, we plan our life. We plan our life. Or we want to be. And we left God out tight. And, we, and what happened now? Up here, that is one of us because we left God out tight. We make plans to go elsewhere. We make plans to go elsewhere. We plan to go elsewhere. And it can't work. Put God in your business. Put God in your plan, brethren. Don't leave him out of it. So, brethren, my encouragement to you today don't murmur against God and don't put away your blessing. Don't send it over to the left, not to the right. Your blessing is supposed to come straight to you, brethren. But if you murmur, if you murmur, your blessing will ample. Brethren, I am learning today that God is not Mark. When God makes a covenant with us, it must come to pass. We have to make a covenant with him. And by doing so, brethren, we will see the blessing. God bless you. God keep you. These are my few words. Bless his name. Oh, please, I...